I hope you're still there. We've walked over to uh, Tracy's Crab Shack now. If you can believe it, the ship's Wi-Fi had opened up on mine, even though I had Wi-Fi shut off. It turns it on somehow, or my phone does automatically. So I want you to look down here. This is Tracy's Crab Shack, and that's Tracy's Crab. See it? And these are pots of steaming crab. A uh, three pound bucket is approximately $220, but it does include some sides. And it is a busy place, busy place. I mean, this is the line waiting to get in, right? Uh, in case you weren't here a few minutes ago for, for when I went live the first time, <laughs> uh, this is Juneau, Alaska, and we're on the Eurodam, which is that ship right there, Eurodam. And that's the Mount Roberts Tramway again. And there's a cable car coming down it. And there are three other ships in port right now. I bet you heard that. So it's very crowded. So let's cross. So we're crossing Franklin Street, which is the main drag around here for shopping. So we're going to walk up here. There are a couple buses going by, so it's a little nasty. Well, you can't smell it, but my eyes are burning from the fumes. So there's lots of this kind of store. Let's walk through here real quick. This is Alaska Juno Mining Company. Hi. Hey, hi. Hey, Liam, are you watching? I hope so. Ashley, Austin, I'm using the selfie stick you and your mom and dad got me for uh, Father's Day. Anyway, let's go out. Jules, hope you're there. Aroma perfume. Alaska Brewing Public House. Oh, that's the bar, and up a ways, we're going to see them again, but it's like a shop that doesn't sell beer, it sells clothes. I'm going to go up high here. So like Janet said, there's four ships in port right now, there was five, and so it's a little crowded, and that's all, almost every day in Juneau during the season, summer. Anyway, more shops. We're gonna go all the way up to the Red Dog Saloon. See it up ahead there? Now we walked in there earlier. You can see it on our YouTube channel, Port Monkeys. Um, but now there's a line to get in and a bouncer or whatever you wanna call him. Mostly jewelry shops here. Now, I've been told that a lot of the stores in these ports are owned by the cruise lines or, or big companies, conglomerates or whatever. And then some of them are locally owned. So you might want to try to figure out which is which, if, if that matters a lot to you. Fur, I think it's fun. Royal Gems. So like I said, we're walking uh, up Franklin Street. Why not? Franklin Street. And cars are allowed, obviously. Now, earlier today, we walked all the way up, see those tall buildings? All the way up to the forest, to the park. What's the temperature now? It is... 54, maybe? Yeah, about 52, I'd say. Uh, Janet says 52. So it was a little warmer earlier, and now, you know, this sun's going down. I guess you might say. It was wrong. It's 55. She says it's 55 now, so it went up three degrees while we were talking. Actually, it's down a little further. 
Let's cross here. There's these little statues throughout the place. So this is the famous Red Dog Saloon. And we've walked in here many a time. And it's why, you know, people just want to go in because it's the Red Dog Saloon. Look, there's sawdust on the floor. There's people upstairs, too. And this is the line of people trying to get in. And that's the flag of Alaska. You know, it's the Big Dipper and the North Star. Although well, you can't see it all because it's not unfurled. And we have Red Dog souvenirs. In case getting drunk wasn't enough, you can buy a souvenir about it. Um, so you can tell these buildings are old. I'm not saying they're older than cruises coming up here because Holland America said they've been coming here for 75 years. 75. Princess has been coming here since 1972, was it? I think so. So, I think, and I'm not sure, I didn't do my research, but I believe that the further up you go, the less chance there is a big business owning these shops. These would be locally owned, privately owned, native owned maybe. I like this bear here. They're here every time we come. So see, there's the Alaskan Brewing Company again, but it's a clothing store or souvenir shop. But it's a nice building. Anyway, um, we're going to go a little further. I want to cross the street here. So in our video that it will be posted, we went all the way up to the top there and then that down to the water. Steep yeah, it's steeper than it looks. Trust me. Zoom in. There, we went all the way up there and then down the other side into a, a park. Where is this? This is Juneau, Alaska. Oh, I didn't know that. Temperature is 55 degrees. It turns out if I touch the screen, all the comments come up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't We're know. <laughs> still learning. <laughs> uh, but if you want some fudge, you could get it there. Oh, it smells good anyway. Look, a fudge log. Popcorn. Uh, there's a lot of other bars and public houses you can go to. But look at all the people going in here all at the same time. Look at these shells. Those aren't real. They're ceramic. That polar bear. Oh, he's not real. Is that a bear or a monkey or a port monkey or a port monkey? Hey, Grumpy's Deli. It's almost Gramps Deli. Well, I see that I've kept you for nine minutes, so I'm going to cross the street again. Look down. That's the uh, crown princess you can see. I'm going to cross. And we're going to sign off in just a moment here. I think this is where they told me not to record. Yes. Locally owned and operated. So, of course, they have furs. And a bear. And a walrus for the tent. Yeah, look at that. And look at these guitars. And a mammoth tusk. 
And that would be another mammoth tusk then, I guess. So, from Juneau, Alaska, this is Janet. and Gareth with a much bigger head than Janet, <laughs> macrocephalic, <laughs> saying okay, goodbye. Port Monkeys out. We'll see, see you, you in the next know, port. Right? Oh, <laughs> hey, peace Bye. out, yo. What's going on? Have a great trip. Bye. Bye. See you next Bye. fall. Yeah,